Hey, this is Matthew from Nerd News Today. And Rich from Rageworks. Welcome to another toy unboxing review. And we've got a real special one today. Absolutely. Rich has been cool enough to actually pick this up for us because he was able to find it in Target, <laughs> which is where it's supposedly being held captive. Supposedly being held captive there and in the clutches of resellers across the state. So many scalpers have... <laughs> Scalp this thing so much, we happen to have it. Yes. This is Marvel Legends by Hasbro. This is the Marvel Studios' first 10 years set. They've done a bunch of sets. Yep. Uh, and we have the really cool one that I've been waiting for forever, which is the Hulkbuster versus Hulk 2 pack. Yep, from Avengers Age of Ultron, which was uh, probably one of the dopest scenes in the flick. Seeing the Hulkbuster for the first time on the big screen was amazing. Absolutely. I just rewatched it today, actually, before we uh, did this, because I wanted to re-familiarize myself with it. And it's such a damn good scene. Oh, man, everything about it is great. Now, for folks who don't know, uh, the Hulkbuster is, in fact, a reissue, but it is a upgraded reissue. This is the first time it's ever been sold as the actual figure itself. Okay. Uh, the first time was, I think, for an Age of Ultron line, then Walmart had another line, and again, both those times it was a Build-A-Figure. This time around, it's all assembled, right. and there are some differences between that one and this one. And, uh, Didn't the, know that. Yes, there's slight differences. And the Hulk is also kind of sort of a reissue as well, but he's, again, more of a repaint. I think he has a new head and new pants from what was originally sold uh, from the same movie. There you go. Little little accessorizing for the Hulk. Yes. So, again, let's show you guys the package real quick. Real nice open window, so you can see everything in there. You can inspect it all before you buy it, which we did. <laughs> Very Meticulously. Hard. Yes, because Hasbro's <laughs> quality control, eh, sometimes. And, uh, and the packaging abuse. That's one thing about this box. If you guys are looking to do uh, any sort of just closed box collecting, the box can get creased immediately immediately so you gotta you have to keep it in a, in a nice safe stable place because if it falls over it'll crinkle or get crushed very easily many crush displays when we were picking this up so thankfully we got a really nice one here and i'll we'll show you guys the back real quick which is just basically a little information of who these guys are and we get a poster from age of ultron yep uh, so it's not anything really fancy but on the plus side it is very collector friendly it appears it is I think that's one thing I've enjoyed about all the box sets that they've done. They've been incredibly collector friendly that you could just pop them out, display them, keep the boxes on the side, and then throw them back in there if you want to rotate out your stuff or sell it. <laughs> so I think there's nothing left to do now except for opening this guy up. So let's see how we can do that, I guess. That's it. So, yeah, so it's actually tape over here. I can just yank it right out. That was easy already. All right. I'm just oh no. Are there millions of ties in this? <laughs> No. No. No ties wow, at all. Wow, I am shocked. Well, this is Hasbro, so I don't think they really do the ties as much, I feel like. But, all right, I'm going to get these guys out and put the Hulk in front. However, nya. In fact, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll flip this around again. Oh. Hulk down. Hulk down is right. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, like you want to close Tony Stark said. All right, so here we have now the guys out of the box. Yep. You'll notice the incredible detailing on this Hulkbuster Iron Man. Lots of articulation, even the head moves which is tremendous, um, thoroughly impressed. I thought it was cool in the box, but out of the box, holy cow. Yeah, and he's- Phenomenal work. Hulkbuster is real hefty too. Yeah, very heavy figure, great display piece. Love the way they did it. Um, it would have been cool if they would have given some sort of a, of a base, like the street, like rubble, rubble oh, yeah. street, like something cool. like that. That would have been nice. That's just an added perk, you know? Nothing crazy. I don't really think Hasbro does any bases or diorama, which they really should, I feel like. They should for this because there's so much significance with this. I mean, even even Funko, who's doing the two-packs now, like the Cinematic Universe two-packs, they yeah. give you like a little base that it kind of looks like a scene. So, I mean, Hasbro could do that. So, let's see. I'm gonna, let's talk about Hulk first. How about you slide over Hulkbuster by you? We'll get Hulk center frame for a second, and I kind of want to toy with him a little bit and just see. So, yeah. Of course, out of the box, very stiff joints, which is really nice. I just want to get a good look at that Mark Ruffalo face. They did a good job. The, the, Take a look. If you look, the detailing is so impressive. It even has when he was corrupted by Scarlet Witch. You'll see the vein work here, a uh, little reddening on the eyes, which was indicative of the mind control. They did a really great job getting all those details in. Uh, jointed feet, which is nice to ensure that he stands upright with minimal issues. You can see we're on a fully flat surface and there's no wobble, no shake. Uh, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with the sculpt. We'll check out the back of him as well. Look at those back muscles. It's been working on the lat pull downs, it looks like. That's it. And again, so yeah, this is uh, a slight reissue. So the, what's new about this is the pants, I believe, and the fact that he's possessed now. Yep. This is, I believe, the first possessed Incredible Hulk figure with Mark Ruffalo. Yep. And uh, also, I'm really digging his feet. I don't know what you guys can see, but he's got toenail detail. It's actually yes, it, pretty sweet looking. Indeed. And fully, and like I said, the, the, the fact that it can stand so easily is great. 
Yeah. Because that's a that's a big problem with a lot of the Marvel Legends figures because of the way that the sculpt is for boots and other things. They always like lean forward, fall over. So this is really good, stable, stable standing. Yeah. So let's take a look at the Hulkbuster now as well and get him back on the scene. There he is, ready to rock and roll. So the difference between this Hulkbuster and the previous one is actually just he's got a little bit more paint than the previous one. He he's definitely got, has more paint. So it's really different. It's very slight, but basically he has these little dots here on the original build figure Those weren't actually filled in. Huh. So that's really the key difference is just that now there's paint in there, and I believe it's also on the back as well. God, he is enormous. <laughs> yep. Look at all that back detail, though. That's nuts. Like, I wanted this figure for a long time. When the first wave came out, I was going to buy the wave just to get the Hulkbuster. I think most people did that. A lot of people did that. Yeah. I also like the fact that you can see like all the all the areas where the suit would screw in when Tony Stark had it built. Yeah. It, which I like. Those details are very important. You know, all the little subtle rivets are very nice. Very impressive. Very. Well, let's see if we can actually get him to stand up a little straighter too, because he's also he is very heavy. So yeah, I think that the, the position, yeah, the positioning, uh, the the beauty of the of the width of the feet keeps it from tilting and falling over, which is a huge plus. I just want to see how poseable he is. So, uh, again, not ball jointed, unfortunately, not in the arms at least. Looks like the legs are, yeah, the legs are ball jointed, and his elbows are ball jointed, but uh, shoulders not so much. Looks like no, nah. but otherwise still, I mean, it is supposed to be robotic. It's cool how it is. <laughs> I would have, I would have, but this is just me. I would, it would have been cool if you would have been able to, which I've seen with some of the higher end ones where you could pop the torso and put an Iron Man in there. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Just to that'd be nuts. To, especially because you know that this is all hollow, probably inside. So you could probably put an Iron Man in there. It'd be kind of cool. Yeah, that'd be an even bigger figure. I feel like to do that, but it'd be crazy. I, I mean, it. <laughs> it is, it is the Hulkbuster. So yeah. I'm, I'm okay if the scale is a little larger for this. Well, speaking of scale, uh, they actually are. Pretty much in, the, I think they're close to scale. Like, Hulk Buster armor is supposed to be bigger than the Hulk. Yep. Uh, and so I think they're they're almost there. It looks like they're about even size, unfortunately. So if we were going to be screen accurate, he should be at least probably as high as this box. Now, a little yeah, bigger. I agree with you. I can agree with that. But that's if you want to really nitpick. Right. Because uh, regardless, I mean, face to face, they still look pretty good. And, you know, Hulk Buster is really imposing next to Hulk. So. Yep. They nailed that part, that's for sure. Yeah, they knocked it out of the park, man. I'm thoroughly impressed now that we take it, we've taken it out of the box, how, how amazing it looks. So the big question now is, is it worth the $70 price tag? You know, when you're, when you're in market for this kind of stuff, there's, there's different types of collectors at this point. Like, I'm telling you right now, don't go and spend $70 for your kids to throw this all over the place. It's, yeah. But if you want to have a nice display piece, I definitely think that you're going to pay the premium, especially because that's just how it works. And if you go to any retailer that scoops this up on the resale, you're going to pay at least 100 So the $80 savings plus, and this is not even, we're not paid to say this, but if you have a Target card, mm. you save 5%. <laughs> so if you have a Target card and you buy this in store, you save 5% on it. So you save, you save a couple of shekels. Not, not too bad. I feel like Target owes us now. There you go. Free ad. That's it. There's the free ad. So yeah, I, I would have to agree too, though. I think it's a great deal. I mean, otherwise, if you just for the Hulkbuster alone, you would have had to buy an entire wave of figures. That's right. And even at the cheapest, at twenty bucks a pop, that's still a hundred. Still well over a hundred easily. And then, well, how many figures were in that set? Uh, six or seven. Oh, I think the wave was, or maybe yeah. it might have been even eight. But uh, so there you go. Yeah, twenty dollars typically. I think there were some that were cheaper, but again, you would have had to get a lot of excess figures. You yep. didn't even want. <laughs> Absolutely. So at least here you finally get them with the additional paint jobs that really help improve them. It's you know the build a figure it was fine, but the fact that he's all finally painted up for good, <laughs> that's actually pretty sweet. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, they're both really awesome, and we liked them a lot, and they need to fight each other now to the death. That's it. Mm. 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 <laughs> Close line from hell. That's it, and then a, a quick uppercut. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. It really is. All right. So that's our look at the Marvel Studios' first 10 years Hulkbuster vs. Hulk 2 pack from Hasbro. Wowie, wow, 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 wow. Super impressed. Way to go, guys. Good job, Hasbro. Yeah. So, all right. I'm Matthew from Nerd News Today. And I'm Rich from Rageworks. And Thanks for checking out the video. This is Hulk and Hulkbuster. They're going to wave goodbye to you as well now. That's it. See you guys later. We're gonna, more, more so Hulk's just going to gyrate back and forth. He's just doing the <laughs> twist. Hulk twist away night. That's it. That's how he gets the ladies. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.